Praise God, praise God. How you guys doing? Day in the Lord, I'm going to wait till some of you come on in here. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you guys. Praise God. Okay. I don't see anyone. I'm trying to. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just going to keep going because, um, they could be just messing with the system or whatever the case may be. So first of all, God bless you. God keep you. I wish I could see who's on here. They doing something, y'all, because I can't see anything. But I'm going to hold on. I really don't see anything. All right, I'm going to keep on going because I already know what time it is, right? And so do y'all. All right, so praise God. I know y'all could tell by my voice. I've, I've been through a lot, y'all. I ain't going to lie. But God. I'm going to say it again. But God. I'm going to say it again. But God. I think I'll go for number three. But God, I, I, that's why I don't care what nobody say. That's why I don't care how I look. Come on, somebody. I, I'm testified before I even start. He's good, even when it's bad. I'm going to say it again. God is good, even when it seems bad. Don't y'all know it to be true? Because I do. Hallelujah. So today is the 15th day. No, no. Today, Um, hold on. That's what I'm trying to do. Days of the fast. Okay. Okay, today is actually the 16th day of the fast. All right, so praise God, praise God. I want to get up on here because God, I mean, he woke me up. He, he was, I'm going to do a shirt. I'm going to have to do a shirt about prophets the way we sleep. We freestyle. We don't, we, we don't sleep. I don't know, you know, whatever. God has his way. But anyway, let me get to the business. How can I say this? Lord, Lord, Lord. Let them receive it. Let them hear it, Father God, in the name of Jesus. But more so, Father God, let your spirit compel them to understand the wisdom and discernment of what I'm saying in Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Amen, amen, amen. In this season, thus saith the Lord, the enemy is trying to hit you harder because he thinks that you are ready. Hit. You see, when you go through stuff, okay, oh, come on, somebody, I'm going to go ahead and do myself for example like I always do. I've been hit so hard this year, I can't lie to you. Did, does it feel good? No. Feels like success, failure, loss, whatever the case may be. However, in everything, I still give thanks to God. In everything, I understand that he's in control. In everything, I know that Romans 8.28 is real because it says everything, the good and the bad, works together for those that love the Lord and according, are called according unto his purpose. Point blank in the story. So that means whatever the devil throws at you, whatever he does, that God is going. God is right there. He gave permission. Just, just ask what he, like he did to Job. Go ahead, test her. Go ahead, test him. But it's not their lives. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So this stuff is real. Praise God, praise God. And the reason why I said this is because ever since we started to fast, I don't know if y'all realize what's been happening. If you've really been following me and listening closely, you'll understand what I'm saying. It's very much true. Every time I start a fast, the enemy starts. The first fast was in January. Excuse me, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm all right. Just, oh. What happened is in January, I prophesied to my class first. I didn't do it to y'all first. I did it to the class. And I said, I'm going to have four deaths this year. God told me it's going to be a year like 1996. That's when I lost my mom, my grandmother, my first cousin, and my fiance. So this year, I lost four people, actually five, uh, but not close. The way the prophecy was, it was going to be family. So I did lose four family members, my dad, my aunt, and his two brothers. So truth be told, I'm using myself as an example. The enemy will wait till you're hit. As a matter of fact, he's the one calling the hits. He's going to God on you and saying, you know what? The only reason they trust you, the only reason they mess with you is because you bless them. You got a hedge protection around them. But if you take it away, they'll curse you. If you take it away, they'll leave you. If you take it away, they'll fall. You don't hear what I just said. And truth be told, all, all may occur. But remember, God says, this is, I'm married to the backslider. That means God is married to you. That means, notice what he said. Let's dissect the scripture. I'm married to the backslider. Do you know what that means? 
Even when you fall back, I'm obligated to pull you back. Come on, somebody. I'm going to say it again. Even when you fall back, even when you fall down, I'm obligated to pull you back, says God. Hallelujah. So no devil in hell or on earth can stop what God has started into your life. They might delay it. They might deny you. But they can't deprive you, said God. Hold on, come on, somebody. Who am I encouraging this morning through myself? Hallelujah. But most of all, the Spirit of God. I'm, I'm doing a self-testimony. But I want you to be encouraged by the Spirit of God because that's what's doing it. God will send somebody, even if you don't like them. Come on, somebody, to encourage your spirit, to encourage so to encourage you while you're going through because trust me if you are a true christian you're going through right now because it's sifting time what does sifting time means prophet is dandex god is exposing everybody good bad ugly nuns priests sinners it doesn't even matter anybody could get it you hear me anybody because the word says so nothing should be here especially in this last so you don't have to come against people. You ain't got to get on here. And, and, and so, some of y'all be doing the most. I'm, I, I, I knew I was going to say it because when the anointing gets on me and I'm fasting, I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. All I know is that he has control. So anywho, and it's, not, it's not to talk about anybody, but it's to just let you know. When I say the kitchen sink has been thrown at me, I've had students to tell other student things. I've had this happen. I've had that happen. I had this happen. I had. This. Hold on, I don't need no pity party because I I, I started praising party. Come on, somebody, hallelujah! Because the Bible says that when when they when they say all oh, vile things are among you, know that you walking that thing out. What I've learned in my 53 years, and I love to say my age on purpose because I can't believe I made it. Come on, son. And you should say it too Because guess what Without God We all wouldn't be making it Truth be told I'm 53 And what I've learned is No one gets away with anything Come on somebody You might not see them go through But honey they're going through You can say what you want to say Because God is God all by himself He said I'm the Alpha and the Omega The beginning and the end Is there anything too hard for me Am I not the, the opener and the finish I done made up the whole words Y'all know from Louisiana God is still in control. I know the devil doing what he think he doing. But remember Pharaoh, he said, Pharaoh, I made you to destroy you. That's his scripture, by the way. He said, I made you for this day. I heartened your heart. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I made you do those things. I allowed you to. Because I wanted to destroy you anyway. What am I saying? Every time people come against you, every time they plot, every time they plan, every time they try to do like a snake, is a snake syndrome in this in this hour. Let me tell y'all what y'all got to watch for this hour. And I'm so serious. The Judas's the Delilahs, the Ahabs, the Sauls, and the Nebuchadnezzars. Those are the five spirits that are heavily working in this world right now. Acting like they love you. Hallelujah. And hate you. But one thing about God is, is, is even if you miss it, God will wake you up at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and say, hey, you, you know this person here. You, you know this here. You, come on, somebody. Can anybody attest to it? God will wake you up. So that's why I say I don't miss. Not trying to be arrogant. Not trying to be this or not trying to be that. But I'm telling you that I don't miss because I got God. So if I do miss, he'll wake me up and say, let me tell you what's going on, Deanna. My servant, Deanna. You know how he calls Samuel? Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel kept running to Nathan. He said, um, did you call me? He said, no, I didn't call you. Then it happened a second time. He said, Samuel, Samuel, come on, somebody going to call your name. And when you don't even know him, so how much more when you do? He said, Samuel, Samuel. He goes to running to Nathan again. <laughs> Nathan said, I didn't call you. But Nathan perceived it. Nathan said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Next time you hear it, say, yes, Lord. It's me, Samuel, your servant. Come on, somebody. Next time you hear God call your voice, say, yes, me, is Deanna, your servant, or whatever your name is. God will never leave or forsake you. But I'm here to tell you, this is how the enemy is rolling in this hour. They send in people, but they send in things to hit you. And they're lying on you big time. I'm not saying you're going to do some of that stuff because you know we did, truth be told. But God again. But God. God said, I'll clean you up. I restore your character, even though they tried to assassinate it. 
even the ones that act like they're helping you and hurting you at the same time. You better take them knives out my back. How you going to help me and then hurt me at the same time? Hello. Come on, somebody. But God will show you that too, Judas. Kiss me, Judas, because you know when, when, he, when, you, when he kiss you or when she kiss you, it's over with. Their part is done. Now go hang yourself. Come on, somebody. I feel the power of God up in here this morning. Hallelujah. The enemy been trying to take me out. Um, I was threatened, what, a couple of weeks ago to be killed. Oh, I'm saying it this morning. And then the other, the, um, I had an accident. I'm going through, but I'm okay. Praise the Lord. Because I'm a soldier. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I got on here to encourage you. I don't need no pity, no party, no empathy, no sympathy. Because I got Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Don't get it twisted. But I'm here to tell you, because it's through my story that he's going to get his glory, even in your life. So I got up. It was last night I was talking, actually, because I couldn't go to sleep. So I didn't go to sleep till about 2, 3, woke up at 5, 6. Yeah, that's been my life. But anywho, I said, God, I don't understand. And I'm going to keep it transparent because that, that's what, that's, you see, pastors and preachers, <laughs> they need to keep it real. Because they're acting like that. You never went through nothing. Not going through anything. Not going through anything now. The devil is a lot. How you think you're so powerful? How you think you stay prayed up? How do you think you know them scriptures? Because it'll back you up. Warfare will do two things to you. Back you to God or run you from God. I choose to run to God because I'm not. I ain't never been. I ain't never had no clue in my blood. And I cannot be in Christ and say that I'm scared or fearful of anything. I'm going to say that again. How can you have Christ's blood from generation to generation to generation that dripped down and is in your blood? And he was not scared of anything. He told them to their face. He said, you snakes and you vipers, you, you, you perverse generation. Then he turned over them tables. And then he took the cross like a boss. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He took the cross like a boss. Yes, he did. Now, that's a real boss. Why y'all sitting up here talking about y'all little figures? Honey, real strength ain't got nothing to do with money. Oh, I'm about to tell y'all the truth this morning up in here. You think so? You think so? Favor better than money. Anointing is better than money. Hold on. I didn't say we didn't mean money. Because the like like Peter, when Peter told Jesus, he said, We gotta pay out. We gotta pay Caesar. Give Caesar's what is Caesar and God's what is God's. Caesar, that's the Pharaoh system, that's the money system. So you have to work it like they want you to work it. But Bob, when you understand what the kingdom of God is really about, that's where we're at right now. God is trying to get you to mature in the spirit. All of us, me too. Everybody, you have never arrived. I'm scared of people that think they're right. I don't care if you're 80, 90, 100. Baby, you, you're talking about God and God's wisdom and God's anointing and God's glory. How can you ever learn that when you are flesh? So I'm always learning, always growing. And you can learn from anybody. I used to think because I, I do have a doctorate, I, I do have this, I do have that, and, and I have been to Bible college, this and that, and I know things that I learned years ago. That's not how it really works. That's good to have. But it's about the anointing of God. That I, even out, out of the mouth of babes, you can learn something. I've learned something from my grandson, Austin. And, that, and that's a whole prophet, a whole little prophet. So, getting back to the subject at hand, thus said the Lord, in this hour, he have allowed a lot of horrid things to hit your life. Mm -hmm. I ain't the only one. His true, and, and let me tell you, hold on, let me tell you the whole plan, as if you didn't know. God doesn't allow anything to hit that won't split. Somebody write that in the thing. I'm, I'm about to break it down for you. God won't allow anything to hit that won't split. That test, that trial, that situation, it's supposed to split you in half so you can decide what half you're going to serve. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why God's allowing it. What you, oh, you thought he was just doing that because what? God always has a master plan. He said, after I allow you to go through this, you're going to have to make a decision. Who you going to serve, me or the world? Because you, you, you've been doing that little accommodation thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one world stuff. That one religion. Yeah, I'm saying it like that. Hallelujah. 
And God said, choose this day who you will serve, God or mammon, because you can't serve both. You can't. You can't serve both. My God, my God, my God. You can't serve both. Hallelujah. So in this season, when you're going to get hit and you will get hit, it is how you go through that the devil looks at you. Oh, it's not affecting us. Plan this, plan that. It's been coming out, dude. Coming out, I've been like, whoa, 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 whoa. And in this in this season, when you're getting hit to get split, you got to understand, because God is, not only is he splitting you to choose, he's splitting you, literally, we're talking about spiritual, by the way, taking out stuff that don't you don't need, because it's too fleshly, from words to actions, and putting in his spirit, and putting in his strength, and putting in his wisdom, and putting in his discernment, putting in his glory, so you could be a glory carrier. But that's going to cost you everything. And that's why we're not seeing people truly healed and delivered, because we don't want to sacrifice nothing. In order to carry the glory, you must sacrifice. What is to sacrifice? Your life. You can't go where you want to go. You can't do what you want to do. You can't do who you want to do. Yeah, you heard me. Because some of y'all are just out here scandalous. I'm going to keep it real. Y'all so lustful. And I'm not trying to bash you or hurt you. It's just time for truth. Put it this way. It's time to come clean. With yourself and with God. Because what I've learned too in all this time of serving God. People see they just don't say nothing. Some say, some don't, because if I'm around you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say, look, you, God's big, because God's going to impress it on my spirit. I don't ever just want to hurt a person's spirit. But when God impressed something, because he's impressing it upon you so you can get that thing. That's why God allows things. God is not just trying to take something from you. He's trying to get something to you and through you. Come on, somebody, write that in the, oh, I got to quit doing that, y'all. I do that, I'm hurting. Okay, what am I, oh, Lord. <laughs> but I can't help it, because you know the Holy Spirit be having you. But, um, what am I saying? Praise the Lord. Bring it back to me. God is trying to put his spirit in you. God is trying to anoint you. So because you have assignments. Let me tell you what was so powerful. I, I brought um, my grandson to school this morning. And I always talk to God. Always, y'all. I see him like 24-7. And he talks back. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know why he loved me, but he do. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. And so this was kind of, you know, I knew it. But for him to say it, it just made it more real. He said, Deanna, Austin is not just your grandson your assignment come on somebody here there i go again and every time i do it i feel something but um he said austin is not just your your grandson austin is your assignment put everything in perspective i said oh my god he said yeah that's why you're teaching him what you're teaching him. i'm teaching him the real bible i have a kid's bible but i said no i'm gonna give him that real stuff because when god called me home i want to make sure before god called me home, i want to make sure that this young prophet know who he is in God. So anywho, I know God most of all, right? And he already know. I told y'all what he said. I'm going to reiterate it for the ones that didn't. Um, we was looking at TV and something. Uh, be having some strange things. No, ain't no strange things. These people be messing with me. They really do. I, I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm not. They really do, y'all. Even from the TV. Like, the TV will just start doing stuff. And I'm not even by the remote control. I'm like, oh, here we go. So, I ain't going to lie. He, hear, he he mocks me a lot, and he hears what I say. I don't mean to say it on purpose, but y'all know my mouth. Y'all know me. I hope you do. And so anyway, my spirit at least. And so anyway, um, he was saying, how they do that, Grandma? I said, I, I don't know a lot of y'all. know I call them cockroaches, right? He said, well, why them why cockroaches do that, Grandma? I said, I don't know. He said, I know. And I just looked at him. He said, they don't like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, somebody. Four, five years old now. He's five years old. He made no, five, November 30. He said, they don't like Jesus Christ. I just looked at him because I never told him nothing like that. And I, I did I, got, I did a Peter moment. I said, flesh and blood have not revealed that. But by the Spirit of God, that five-year-old say that. That stuff real. I just looked. I said, God, you're really. I know God was real. Don't get it twisted. But you know when you see it for real, for real, and it's probably going to be some more for real, for real moments, I was like, I got to continue to teach him. So I'm teaching him to pray. I'm teaching him some stuff. Yeah, I sure am. Hmm. Think I'm not? So get back at the subject at hand. 
In this season, the reason you're going through it is because this is your testing season. Christians are being sifted because God wants to know who's who and he wants us to know who's who too. Come on, somebody. Somebody write that in the comments. Yeah, you're going to be able to hide no more. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, what's coming up in 2022, this is the word of the Lord for that year. It's going to be double. God is going to bless his people with double because you've been struggling long enough, God says. I'm telling you the truth. But also, it's going to be double stuff that's coming. Like Y'all thought this year was... Don't understand in the spirit so it is in the natural so is it is in the spirit what people don't understand is the spirit actually run the natural this stuff that y'all see this been happening in the heavenlies remember when the when the um devil went against god with the first war it was in heaven do y'all understand what's happening for real so now it then got to earth that's what you see y'all we're in a spiritual war that's why i don't understand why churches pastors preachers acting like they stars always want to that's why I stay with my one camera. I mean, I don't. I'm not getting three, four. I don't care how much money God bless me with. Cause guess what? I don't need three. I want to keep myself humble. But and I'm not really. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am saying it like that. And I'm not saying don't take a selfie every now and then. But dog, go on, y'all like y'all stars or servants? Which ones? <laughs> I'm just being real, because everybody watches everything. So with that being said, the reason why we're going through so much. It's because God is wanting us to see us in this hour. God is saying, show me your face. Show me your faith. Show me your worship. Show me who you are. Because I already know. So God wants you to see you in this hour like never before. The truth. Not the lies you've been telling yourself. Not the lies everybody else been telling you. But the truth. Do you truly have a relationship with God? Or you been perping with yourself and everybody else? Behind closed doors, you do what you want to do. And I'm going to keep it real. And everything applies to me as well. You want to smoke, you want to drink, you want to fun a kick, you want to do this, you want to do that. Well, I'm not hurting nobody. No, you're not hurting nobody. But you're hurting your spirit. When you bear the weight of sin in your spirit as a child of God, you cannot lay hands. You really can't even speak to people unless you're praying and you're praying real. And, and, and like you're falling, get back up, falling, get back up. And, and truth be told, that, that's, that's my life right there. And it could be in a word. It could be in a thought. If I, I get back up, Father God, I repent. I'm very humble, y'all. I'm not just saying that. No, 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 no. The devil lie. I ain't going to hell. If I mess up in any capacity, I'm repenting. And if you tell me to do it publicly, I'm repenting. I don't care about what nobody think and say. I'm trying to make it to hell just like you, hopefully. Because where you spend eternal, your eternity is real. Heaven or hell. And they both real, by the way. Ain't no purgatory. Sorry. I know, I know y'all. They tell me it was purgatory. Yes, purr. But ain't no Tory there. <laughs> y'all better get with it and quit playing. And I'm going to say this too. I'm, I'm, I'm being led by the Spirit of God. There's only one God. Hallelujah. His name is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There is no other. Hallelujah. That he is the only true living God. The rest of them died and they did not rise. I'm going to say it again. The rest of them died and they did not rise. I'm going to say it one more time. They died and they did not rise. He is the only one that is risen. Came down in flesh. Took back the keys from the devil. Give me my keys. That's my authority. That's my people. That's my church. And he hindered it to us. Now my question is, and his question is, first, what are we doing with the keys of the kingdom? Do we even have a set of spiritual keys? Hmm? Anybody? You can't get them if you ain't owning nothing. You can't get them if you ain't anointed. You can't get them if you ain't appointed. I'm talking about for real, not self-appointed ones. They ain't got no anointing. Let me tell you something. You are not anointed if every other week you posting, you acting so thuggish, so hood. You act hood, more hood than spirit. When you have the true spirit of God, you love God's people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Halleluja.